All right. Got it. I'm hoping I'm getting all these catches in the camera. Hey everybody, welcome back to Boomerangs by Vic. I hope you enjoyed the flight. Um, the cool thing about this boomerang is I've only ever made two of this design. This is number two, and my father received the first one. The first one I made um, was for uh, the theme Vietnam because my father was in Vietnam, and I have different stuff written on the boomerang. I'm going to try to get a photo of that boomerang. And so you can see it. And this was the second design I made. And it's actually called Tribal. So I've only ever built two of these. Um, I did this back in 2009. As you can see, this thing has a beautiful flight. And if you would like this boomerang, I'm going to put it on eBay um, at an auction price. You guys can bid on it for the next, I'd say, seven days I'll do a listing for. And I'm going to start the price at 20 bucks, which is very fair. So if you're in the U.S., uh, the only extra charge you'll have on top of that will be the shipping, which is around $7. So it's going to start at 20 Good luck to anybody out there that, you know, uh, ends up getting this boomerang. Um, you can see on the back it has been thrown a lot. Uh, what have I got down here? Printed side faces you. <laughs> 11 of 09. I've got Tribal by Victor Poole, and that's how I used to sign it. Now I have a stamp. It is number two, and right-handed. It is a little scuffed on the bottom. It's a used boomerang, but like I said, it's been around since 2009, so um, I hope whoever gets it appreciates it. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you, look down in the description for the link that will take you directly to the boomerang on eBay. And stick around for some more videos because uh, I'm going to do a few more like this. I have a few more boomerangs laying around that I want to offer to the public where I only have one or two of them. And uh, I'd like it if uh, a subscriber or somebody that's been watching me for a while can get one. Okay, everybody, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the little bell for notifications. As I said here, later on, I'm going to start doing giveaways again as well. I just got to figure out which boomerangs I want to use for the giveaways. And we'll get those started back up again. So share with a friend. If you think they like boomerangs, share this video with just one person that you think might be interested. Because... Um, I really need the views. <laughs> Thanks again, everybody. Don't forget, hit the little bell for notifications if you want to continue seeing my videos. Thanks, everybody. See ya. All right, so here we go again. This is not a very hard throw, okay? Here we go again. Oh, beautiful. Tell you what, this is a beautiful flying boomerang, as you can see. So anybody that's going to get this, uh, can see yourself pretty lucky. Okay, here we go. Wow, oh, this thing flies so nice. I mean, I'm literally not moving from the spot I'm standing at. It's beautiful. So again, this boomerang only needs minimum strength so don't throw it as hard as you can because it will just fly past you just throw it with just enough strength to get it to come back if it's not coming back all the way give it a little more until you hit that sweet spot but don't throw it too hard just nice and easy just like i just did you know come right back there every time there we go get the sun in that view hiding behind the clouds so whoever wins this boomerang i'm just going to remind you it flies best with absolutely no breeze at all. With no breeze at all, it's gonna come exactly back to where you're standing. If there's a little bit of a breeze, then you obviously wanna throw it just a little bit to the right of it, okay? As Say the breeze is coming at me just like this, you wanna throw right about over in this direction. And I guarantee you, it's still gonna land behind you because the breeze is gonna push it back. So this is a non-breeze boomerang. Okay, so there's just a tiny, tiny breeze coming, so it might go behind me, maybe five feet. So you just don't want to throw it really hard, basically. Yeah. And that did. That came behind me. I was standing right there near the blue bag, and it came behind me about four to five feet. So no complaints about that.
Okay, let me get my glove set up here. Here we go. And a catch. In case you guys are wondering what this mirror is, I'm wearing helmet cam again, as you might be able to see here, I'm not sure. Um, wearing a helmet cam. So in order to run my camera, I've mounted this mirror to my arm. So all I gotta do is look up at it and I can start and stop the camera, which I'm gonna do right now for the next. Okay, everybody, I'm getting a little brave here. I probably are gonna wish I hadn't done this, but for fun, I wanna throw around this tree right here in front of me. And it should be able to go around and miss everything. But my only fear is if, the, if a breeze picks up, <laughs> it's gonna send it in this tree. I really don't feel like climbing that thing today. But out of the interest of boomerangs, we're gonna give this a try. Okay, here we go, around the tree. Come on, don't fail me. Oh, run around the tree all right, right back into the tree. No! <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm not gonna complain, that's not too bad. I can get that. All right, so you guys are gonna laugh at this. I just climbed that tree to get the boomerang. And uh, this the little mirror on my wrist, my biggest fear is that thing actually fell off down in the snow while I was up in the tree and I didn't know. So I got down and I looked for it. And uh, I found this little slit in the snow over there and I was like, there's no way this is it. And I reached down in and I found it. It's just pure luck. Okay, so I've got the rubber band on there better now so it shouldn't fall off. Okay, here we go again. Around the tree, guys. Let's try not to get it stuck in it this time. That just barely missed. Oh, and it's going to. Oh. All right, I can handle that. <laughs> okay, one more time with the tree. I'm not having good luck. I probably should stop, but I'm not really sure why it's landing out in front of me. It should be coming all the way around. Well, it came all the way around and then back in the branches again. <laughs> Look at that, just above me. Okay, I'm going back down the field. This is not fun. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful.